New public school year starts this morning, and it's distance learning for at least the first four weeks. Dallas Ontiveros joins us now live from Lelehua High School with more on what parents need to know. And Dallas, much different start to the school year this year. Absolutely, Christine. I got to tell you, it's very quiet, but the bell doesn't ring until 8.20 this morning here at Lelehua High School. And when it comes to this week, you know, mostly all the schools are... Uh, for under the Department of Education are doing their own routes, whether it be completely 100% virtual or have this week be in training for their students. So here at Leilahua High School, students with the last name A through C are allowed to come back on campus if they want to, to learn about this distance learning program that's going to continue to move forward. Now, do keep in mind when students are on campus, masks are required. There are going to be practicing social distancing. And of course, temperature checks are going to be taken and as well as those questions. But whether, you know, the students or the parents feel comfortable, there's a lot of parents that still have concerns or questions on whether this is safe or not, which is why we spoke with Kekiana over in Maui, who has two sons at Kihei Charter School, who shares a little bit what's on her mind when it comes to the first day of school. Take a listen. I think that where we're at right now is a state that, and in the world, that we're not ready to send our kids back to school. I don't think it's a safe place. Uh, my youngest son, who's nine he's going to be a fourth grader this year he has a compromised immune system he's had very severe asthma since he was a baby and that's definitely i'm not, I'm not trying to send him to a classroom where his health may be in jeopardy And over at Kihei Charter School, they are going to be practicing that distance learning. And, you know, every parent and student situation is going to be different. And if you don't know what your school is doing, you should definitely check with your student school's website or even your email or messages if the principal or any of the staff haven't sent a message to the parents or to the students at what they're going to be doing. But I will tell you here at Lilehua High School, you know, the average classroom size is going to be about seven people, including the teachers. So the Classroom sizes are going to be very small this week, but of course, we're going to hear from more parents throughout this hour and also from the HSTA in the next hour. So stay with us. We've got more coverage for you when it comes to the first day of school here on KHON2.com. But until then, reporting from the scene here, Dallas Navarro's KHON2 News, sending back to you, Christine, in the studio.